In this video, we will take a look at how project budgets can be set up, how project budgets can be created and revised, and how project budget control works in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2020. Let me take you to the parameters form and in the cost control tab, we see a number of parameters that are related to project budgetary control. All this is new in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. These parameters act as defaults on newly created projects. So if I enable budgetary control here, then any new project that is created henceforth will automatically be enabled for budgetary control. I can choose to just do budgets on costs or I can do revenue budgets or I can choose to control both cost and revenue budgets. For this demo, let's just do cost budgets. The budget over and default settings gives me the option to choose the system behavior when a transaction is about to go over budget. The various options are disallow overruns, which means when a transaction goes over budget, it will be stopped from posting. Want of overruns, which means the user will just be warned that, hey, you are going to go over budget. And allow overruns, in which case there is no warning and the transaction just goes through. For this demo, let's just say disallow overruns. If your organization is okay to use budgets from a different project, which is outside the existing project hierarchy, then you may want to enable this parameter which says allow budget control outside the project hierarchy. The budget control interval that you can pick from are project to date, year to date, total year, current period and total budget. If you frequently carry forward budgets from one fiscal to another fiscal for a given project, then you may want to enable carry forward remaining budgets option. You, you would have noticed that the moment we enabled this option, we get another option called allow negative budgets to be carry forwarded. Now what this means is, in a given fiscal, if you went over budget, then do you want to carry forward that negative budgets to a different fiscal in order to consume the budgets from a different fiscal? If that is something your organization is fine with, then you may want to enable this as well. The last option on this page is the check budget on document line save. What this means is, if you want budget control to happen the moment a transaction line is saved, then you would enable this parameter. Now let's go to the project list page and I have already created a project called project budget demo. If I open this project, we see that this project is already enabled for budgetary control and we are doing cost budgets only. So let me quickly go to the plan tab and here is where we see the menu buttons that will give us access to the budget related forms. If I click on the project budget button, we go to the project budgets form. Now as you can see, I already have a project budget for $10,000 that has been <coughs> submitted but not yet approved. So let's just go ahead and approve this project budget. So workflow is processing the message in the background and once that is done, yes, so the budget has been committed and now when we refresh the screen, we see the total budget being $10,000. So we have budgeted for item transactions for category spare for $10,000. Now let's just create a new revision. So I click on the new revisions button which brings the new revision form and in this form I say I want to increase the budget by $5,000. And now I submit this revision to workflow. So let's approve this revision now. I say approve and once workflow processes this, then we will see that the budgets will get committed. Okay, so the budgets are committed. So let's close this form. And on this form, if I do a refresh, then we see that the total budget is now 
of which 10,000 was the original budget and 5,000 is the rev revised budget. So this is how we do revisions. So let me close this budget form and now I'm back to the project details page. Let's now see how the project budget control actually works. So for this, we'll take an example of a purchase order that finally gets converted into an AP invoice when, which when posted to project will have a budgetary impact. So let's create a purchase order. I pick this vendor. I say OK. If you are already familiar with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and if you have played with it a couple of times, you would notice that all the data in this demo is actually from the Contoso dataset. So you should be familiar with it if you have already looked at it. So let's just go and purchase phones and I'll say quantity 1 unit each price 100 and let me look at the line details to make sure that the project details are correct yes this is our project this is the category for which we have budgeted and let me just put a sales price of $200 not that it matters from a budget standpoint since we are just doing a cost budget but just for the fun of it now let me just go and confirm this purchase order okay so the purchase order is now confirmed let's go to the project and see what impact this purchase order had on the budgets so we go to the control tab and here we see the project budget balances form if we click this form we see that there is a commitment of $100 booked against the item budget and this is correct because the purchase order line was for a phone that costed $100 and hence the remaining budget is now $14,900 we don't see anything in the revenue section because we did not do any revenue budgets so this looks good now let's go back to the purchase order and invoice this purchase order so we'll say generate invoice I'll say order quantity I'll specify your invoice number and then I'll say post okay so the invoice is now posted let's close this purchase order and we are back to the project details form and here let's open the project budget balance uh, form and what we see is the hundred dollar commitments got converted into the hundred dollar actuals and the remaining budget is still fourteen hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars which is correct so what we just saw was an example where a PO to invoice has a budgetary impact in project now in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, project budgetary control is integrated to many more source documents like purchase requisition, expense reports, travel requisitions, timesheets and so on and so forth. I hope this video has been helpful for you to understand how project budget works in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Thank you. In this video, we will take a look at how the revenue recognition system works in fixed price projects in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Let me first take you to the project group setup form where we will be defining most of the behavior for the revenue recognition system. Let me quickly create a new project group called demo and I'll say the name is demo for project revenue recognition. Project type is fixed price and since I want to accumulate all the costs on the project in VIP until revenue is recognized I will choose balance as the account type for hours expense and item costs the next thing that I want to specify is the revenue recognition accounting rule for this demo 
we will recognize revenue based on percentage completion and hence we choose completed percentage. If your organization wanted to recognize revenue only at the end of the project when the project is 100% done, then they would choose completed contract. The matching principle here lets me specify what kind of revenue postings do I want on the project. If I want just one posting for the, comp for the entire revenue, then I would choose sales value. But if I wanted the postings to be split between actual cost and the actual profit, then I would choose production plus profit. In this example, let's choose sales value. I have to specify a sales category because that is where the account to which the revenue will be posted will come from. Now that we have specified all the important parameters, let's save this project group and close this form. Let's now create a fixed price project that will use this project group that we just created. I'll say the name of the project as demo. I'll say demo project and the project group is demo. This is what we just created and then I'll pick a contract. I'll say I need a new estimate project for this fixed price project and I'll pick auto amount as the cost template and estimate month as the period code. Now if you have noticed the data that you are seeing in this demo is from the Contoso data set. So if you have already worked with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 you would recognize that this data is from the Contoso data set. A few notes on the cost template here. So if I go into the cost template details, what this lets us do is configure for each transaction type the categories that we want the revenue recognition system to look at in order to compute the percentage completion. So the cost template that we are using in this demo happens to include all the categories for hours, which means any transaction that comes with any of these categories will actually be considered by the revenue recognition system when it is computing the percentage completion. So let me close this and click OK here. So this creates a new fixed price project for us. Let me put the project in the process and now let's go and forecast for this project. So what I'm going to say here is I am forecasting 100 hours of design work on this project. And then I close this forecast form. The next thing that we do is to define the milestones for this fixed price project. And the place where we do this is in the on account transactions form which can be accessed from the manage tab in the project details page or from the project list page. So I click on on accounts transactions and I say new milestone and the invoiced um, invoicing amount for this milestone will be $10,000. I close this form. Now let's assume that the project has started executing and employees have started entering time. So let's quickly post an hour journal and we'll say that we have completed 10 hours of work on the design and we will just post this journal. So the journal is posted. Now let's fast forward the time and assume that we are at the end of the month when we should be recognizing revenue on this project. Now before we run the estimate system to recognize the revenue, let's understand uh, what should be the expected revenues on this project at this point. So let's go back to the forecast that we created. So we have forecasted 100 hours of design work. Now what is the actuals on this project? So if we look at the poster transactions on this project, we see that there is an actual cost of $450 for the design work 
that is already being posted to this project. If I open this transaction, we see that the quantity is 10 hours. So which means if we compare this with the forecast of 100 hours, we have completed 10% of the planned work on this project. Now this is what the revenue recognition system is going to do when we run the estimate system. It is going to compare the actual cost with the, ac with the forecasted and then compute the percentage completion on the project and it's going to recognize revenue based on the contract value. So the contract value for our project is actually $10,000. So 10% of $10,000 is $1,000 and that is what we should see as the recognized revenue when we run the estimate system. So let's go ahead and run the estimate system. So I come to the manage tab in the project details page or from the list page and I say estimates. I say new estimate and I want to estimate for this month so I pick this month and I say I want to use the total budget minus actual method. So here total budget actually means the total forecasts. And let me pick the forecast model that I want the estimate system to look at. And I say OK. So the estimate system is now computing the percentage calculation and then it comes up with 10% as the percentage complete. Now this matches to what we thought should be the percentage completion based on our manual calculation and hence this looks OK. If we look at the general tab, we see that it says if you were to post this estimate, then a thousand dollars will be recognized as the revenue on this project. This seems to be right because 10% of the contract value, which is ten thousand dollars, is actually thousand dollars. So it looks correct. Now, when we post this estimate, the estimate gets posted and let's quickly go and run the project statement to see what was the actual revenue recognized by the estimate system when i click uh, calculate we see that thousand dollars is the actual revenue recognized on this project after we posted the estimate this amount is correct now this thousand dollars is against the 450 dollars of cost that was posted on the project for the 10 hours of work that we did. So the numbers look correct here and this is how the revenue recognition system works to recognize the revenue. So what we just saw was a simple example where the revenue recognition system on fixed price projects recognized revenues when we posted the estimate. I hope this video has been helpful in making the concepts clear in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 projects. Thank you.